Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group, has gained global attention. He was once considered Vladimir Putin's right-hand man. Hailing from St. Petersburg, Prigozhin rose to power under Putin's influence. The imposing headquarters of his private army, the Wagner Group, is situated in the heart of the city. Recently, Prigozhin announced his intentions to occupy Moscow, in response to widespread dissatisfaction. However, for unknown reasons, his army halted its advancement, and redirected towards Belarus. Subsequently, Prigozhin's whereabouts became unknown. Speculations arose, with some suggesting that he had left Russia, while others claimed, a secret agreement, between the Wagner Group, and the Russian government. President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko stated that, Prigozhin was still in Russia, although his exact location remained undisclosed. Neither Belarus, nor Russia seemed interested in locating him, prompting international media to question, whether Prigozhin is still alive. In recent news, Russian authorities raided Prigozhin's villa, and discovered lavish and peculiar items, some of which were associated with concealment. While luxury cars are common in the possessions of the wealthy, Prigozhin went as far as keeping helicopters. Helicopters were found parked, on the lush green grass of his extravagant villa, surrounded by a sprawling garden. The villa's floors were adorned with marble, designed in a chessboard pattern, and scattered with expensive furniture. The size of the rooms was sufficient, to accommodate up to 100 people. During their exploration, some police officers mistakenly entered the bathroom, getting lost in its vastness. In one corner of the lavishly designed bathroom, a curved marble bathtub captured attention. To access the bathtub, stairs were situated on two sides, along with a curved path on black stone. Adjacent to the bathroom, a large French window overlooked the surroundings, accompanied by two deck chairs. It was an ideal spot for bathing, while basking in the warmth of the sun. There was also a swimming pool available. The indoor pool featured artificial mechanisms, to regulate the water level. Adjacent to the pool, a massage bed and additional deck chairs were positioned, providing a relaxing space. The room also contained toys for children, and a jacuzzi, enhancing the leisure options. Another notable thing in Prigozhin's villa, was a shelf that, upon opening, revealed a meticulously organized, collection of wigs and hair pieces. This raised questions about whether, Prigozhin used to frequently alter his appearance. In the sitting room, there is another peculiar sight. A carefully positioned crocodile skin, rests atop the wooden medium-sized cabinet, while a lantern dangles from the ceiling. Yes. Moreover, the villa which was also Prigozhin's office, where he conducted his work as the leader of the Wagner Group. The room housed a pool table, in one corner and a wooden table. On the other side, displaying a bundle of Russian rubles, in a black plastic packet. Various replicas of people's heads, crafted in different shapes, adorned the entire room. However, the true surprise awaited in Prigozhin's bedroom. The room showcased a neatly organized array of weapons, including a sniper rifle, alongside multiple guns, pistols, and rifles in various states of disassembly. Additionally, two suitcases filled with cartridges, were discovered in an open position. The bedroom led to Prigozhin's gaming room, featuring a billiards table and a large hammer. Online, numerous photos and videos depicted Prigozhin holding the hammer. Some accounts suggested that, he had recently used it to kill someone. Hence, the presence of a hammer in the villa did not come as a surprise. According to Russian government sources, a substantial amount of cash, was seized from Prigozhin's villa, estimated to be worth $6.5 million in Russian currency. Although, the exact amount remains unclear, the published photos exhibited, meticulously arranged bundles of banknotes provoking astonishment. Moreover, multiple passports bearing Prigozhin's name were discovered in the villa. However, each passport featured a different photograph, raising suspicions of Prigozhin assuming different identities for travel purposes. This raises the question of who the true person, behind the name Prigozhin might be. 
Born on June 1, 1961, in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Prigozhan initially dreamt of becoming a cross-country skier during his childhood. However, his life took a completely different trajectory. In 2000, he became closely associated with Putin, and since then, he slowly he became, one of the world's most formidable leaders, of a ruthless private army. Despite Russia's consistent denials, intelligence agencies are confident about their knowledge of Prigozhan's whereabouts. Russia aimed to emphasize that Prigozhan and the Wagner Group are of little concern to them. Some military analysts even anticipate Russia denying reports of an uprising within their own ranks in the coming days. Yes.